here demoing the Adobe Technology Preview with the NVIDIA Acceleration. And basically what this is doing is allowing uh, all the video layers on a timeline to be accelerated with about 30 effects, which is basically, as from an editor's standpoint, everything you do every day, you're, you're waiting for a render to see the feedback on a change of color or to move an image around or do whatever it is you're doing on the timeline. And now with this acceleration, that's completely gone. That weight's gone. So I would estimate at least an hour to two hours every single day of editing will be completely saved from this. Not only that, but the freedom to... Take a look over here at the screen. What we basically have is a typical uh, editing scenario. I've got one, two, three, four layers of video on a timeline. This is 4K uh, raw files, which are the hardest to process of any, any video format. And I have about five or six video effects um, on each layer. So what we have over here as a result is a large screen that has five or six effects on it. And we have the small video layers uh, transformed and resized over here with different color correction. So I'm going to show you real quickly a demo of exactly what happens with an 8-core uh, CPU with 16 threads running right now. It's a Z800 HP workstation. So here we go. We're going to hit play. Okay, we're, we're supposed to be playing back right now. As you can see, it has a really hard time. If we take a look over here at our process meter, our CPU is at 100% for all 16 cores. And that's why we're unable to play it, because we have no overhead. So it's a complete failure of playback uh, on this format and on any other format that you would try this with a vehicle. So now let's go and enable the CUDA acceleration on here. So we're going to go up to Project, General, and we're going to turn on. Here we have Software Only, so that was CPU enabled. We're going to hit CUDA Accelerated Render, hit OK. Our render bar has gone yellow, which means the application believes that it can play it back in real time. Now look at this. Not only can we scrub back and forth, but we can also play back in 100% real time. And if you notice, the CPU usage is about 27% playing that. We have five color corrections on each clip, Gaussian blurs, uh, RGB curves, which are extremely difficult to, to render. And as you can see, it's completely real time. I think that more than anything, video editors have been waiting for this for years and years and years in the software. And traditionally, it's only been available in $50,000, $60,000 Avid's edit suites. And now with a 4800 GPU card and a very inexpensive editor, we can take all that waiting and all that rendering out of the equation and get back to working, which is what uh, any editor really wants to be doing. Nobody wants to be sitting around and waiting for the render bar.